Hello and welcome back to today's morning report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech Markets on Thursday, the 16th of April. And we've on now to Euro Dollar. And this Euro Dollar chart, it's been a bit choppy actually recently. Um, you've had a couple of days in a row where the um, the bulls have actually won the day, in fact. And yesterday's candle was certainly for, uh, more of a positive move um, than we saw. But to, once again today, we've seen the European session starting off with dollar gaining strength. And this has been a feature of the last few days, actually, I've noticed. You've seen um, as the day started, dollar gathering strength, and then into the close, including a bit of US data that's maybe disappointed, you've seen the dollar coming under pressure again. So quite a difficult one to play, really, because you start off thinking, OK, this is the dollar regaining, but then into the close, you see the weakness. And this is what you see. You see the retail sales on on uh, Tuesday having a big impact and then just drifting back during the European session and then again into yesterday that was the Fed beige book into the evening and then suddenly as the um, as the sort of European session comes in the um, selling pressure just stay, takes off again so you could argue that there is a sequence of lower um, higher lows now in place on this euro chart coming in above that 105.20 the latest one at 105.70 um, 105.70, there it is. Um, and the uh, momentum indicators have just started to gradually improve through the back of that. But I still see that any rallies on, on, a, on a medium term basis are still going to be seen as a chance to sell. I think the euro is really going to struggle to gain any real traction to the upside. As I think you see here, I think you, I think you see generally the, um, the tendency for the, the market to want to sell the um, to euro dollar. But the um, the sort of just uh, slight disappointment of the of the American uh, of the U.S. data is just still having an impact um, on an initial basis. But then sub then gradually the um, the impact just wears off, and then you see the selling pressure come through again. So I think at the moment the dollar um, is being driven by the data. Um, and uh, that obviously this afternoon, what round 1:30, you've got all the uh, housing data and the um, weekly jobless claims data, so that could have an impact. But I think generally speaking, if you can see the euro just finding support again above 105.70, maybe then that would sort of once again see that near-term rally that we're seeing on this chart, the near-term move. I would stress that as a near-term um, just come through again. But the fact that we've found resistance. Underneath that 107, well, 10710 area was that old resistance from, um, sorry, that's old support that has become new resistance, and that still seems to be sort of holding back. Yes, you had a bit of a spike through that today, um, but it sort of failed through that move. And uh, what I believe is um, what we're seeing is, as I said, a move into sort of a, a resistance band between that maybe now that 10710 to 108 figure, that old pivot level at 108 figure that we've been talking about um, a couple of weeks ago, I think that will be used as a, as a point at selling pressure um, where it resumes. Um, but just near term, I, I, I think that you could see a bit more of a choppy move on this euro dollar chart as this data continues to come through um, and the data continues this afternoon. So uh, that's what you could continue to see, I think. Um, bit of choppy trading on the dollar but ultimately I think it will be sold um, sorry this euro dollar chart I think will be sold into anyway I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later thank you